into an anti-matter energy ball the size of a small asteroid. The energies are in a constant flux as it builds power. After the ball is fired, then the two energies implode upon themselves, ripping a hole in space. In layman's terms, it This horrible weapon doesn't sound like you. It did not start out that way, Hank. It was to create wormholes to prove the existence of parallel universes. How to turn into this? Oh, you finally going to... What the hell are you doing? They thought it'd be fun to watch a small sun go nova. Until a stray shot wiped out the power system, leaving emergency power device. No matter what the outcome, it's a chance we have to take. So, start powering up the quantum cannon. Time is running out. For us, and the universe. Yes, sir. Powering up the quantum cannon. So, I hope you all like that. I'm Vanessa Lee, and I'm the director and chief engineer of post-production for Quantum Cannon. And this is my buddy, Chris. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Miller, creator and writer of Quantum Cannon. So Christopher, why don't you tell us a little bit about Quantum Cannon? Well, the Quantum Cannon is a new kind of genre I'm working on called the live action anime, which in this particular case is an anime sci-fi fusion. It has all the tropes of anime as well as sci-fi. It's about a captain who is ordered to take a new kind of weapon shipped to a remote area to save the universe from an unknown alien force. It has twists, it has turns, it has drama, it has comedy, it has lots of things blowing up, and uh, it is uh, a unique story. It's also connected to a uh, series of uh, books I created called The Legend of Buffalo Star, and I think you're going to like it. As director and chief engineer of post-production, I'll be employing both live-action footage and computer-generated scenes using some of the latest open-source software, including Blender. So the reason that we employ both live-action and computer-generated models is to cut down on cost. But it also makes the film look really interesting. This is where we need your help. If you decide to invest in our film, you can play a part or create your own characters or create your own models, or being any part of the film you desire. Think about it. You can have your own part in your own film. Isn't this the most awesome thing in the world? That's right, really awesome. Um, on a personal note, I just want to show the world that um, I've been trying to get a career off the ground for over 20 years now. Um, and uh, because I don't get a lot of opportunities, uh, I just, uh, because I'm autistic, and I want to show the world not only this new genre that I created, the live action anime, but I want to show you the world that autistic people, autistic writers, autistic filmmakers, autistic actors, we are useful. We are not useless. We are not a burden. And we can create just as good a product as anyone else. And that's all I'm asking for is a chance. Give me that chance to show what autistic people can do. And that's why I want to help Chris. He's a really great person. And I have been working in science fiction films for over 30 years. I've been doing computer graphics since I was six years old. So I've been doing this for a long time. I know what needs to be done and what it takes. And we have some of the best and brightest minds here at your fingertips. We just need your help. So please consider investing in our film. Thank you.